Hey guys, welcome back to a new vlog. I'm currently switching out my everyday purse for my Fendi bag. This is my current everyday purse and it's like almost April. I figured this is like more of a winter bag. So we're gonna be using my Fendi Mama baguette now. I um, use this as an everyday bag last spring too. And honestly, out of all the bags I own, this is the best everyday bag. Yes, hi guys, welcome to the vlog. Um, while I'm doing this, I will talk a little bit. Oh, where's my other bag? It has all my other stuff. I stayed over at my parents last night, so I brought my like base work tote with all my stuff in it. So um, yes, guys, hi, today is Sunday and we're gonna do a little, I guess a Sunday reset, but um, more so like I need to do some errands. I need to get some things from like the pharmacy, CVS. And then tonight I'll probably come back and um, I don't really have like any plants today. Um, I'm gonna clean a little bit. Oh, I do have to clean the bathrooms desperately. So we're gonna do that. Yeah, I'm gonna head out now, do my errands. I'm gonna stop by and get some coffee because I haven't had any yet. And I did give up coffee for like a week um, and it was great, but I missed it. So I'm back on coffee again. So before I go, I actually have a try on haul to show you guys. It's my first spring try on haul of the year. I am so excited. I finally started shopping for spring and I started shopping at one of my favorite places. If you're not familiar with Lulu's, it is an online fashion brand that has amazing, amazing pieces, luxury style pieces that are affordable. And I really love shopping at Lulu's, especially during the spring and summertime because they are literally like notoriously known, I feel like for having really gorgeous dresses for the spring and summer season, like casual dresses for spring, wedding dresses, and I do have a few weddings coming up, so I plan on going to Lulu for my wedding guest dresses. I have gotten a couple of my wedding guest dresses from them before, and they're high quality pieces. I've never had an issue with quality or sizing of the pieces, and there's something for everyone, no matter what your style is. I wanted to start off with like the accessories because they're so, so cute. So I really love the look of these big bows now and putting your hair up like in a half half up, half down look and putting a cute bow in it. So here is like a pretty lace one. It's kind of like a peachy, creamy color. I thought it'd be so pretty for the springtime. And then I also got a couple pairs of shoes that, oh my gosh, are so stunning. So the first pair, I've shown these on my Instagram before. I am so excited about these. It is a pair of pink heels and look how fun they are. Look at the little like feathering. Feather, is that what you call it? Feather detailing. It has a little like gem or um, a little, you know, button in the middle. Um, it's so pretty. They're really comfortable too. It's padded here and the heel is not too high. I feel like that's maybe three and a half inches. And the color, you guys, I don't have any pink heels and I am trying to wear more color in the springtime. So I can't wait to style these in the springtime. So we got those and then Oh, I'm also excited about these pairs. Oh my gosh, gonna be so, so, so pretty for the spring. And here they are. Oh my gosh, aren't they so cute? These are definitely vacation sandals. And again, padded, very comfortable. This will go with so many things. I'm really loving the platform, um, platforms this season. So, okay, those are the accessories I got. And then the rest of the clothes, I'm gonna try them on right now for you guys. So first we have this set. It came with this button up top and this bandeau top. How gorgeous is this? I already wore this once out and it, first of all, is really comfortable and I just love the color of it. It's like this burnt orange color, so perfect for spring and for summer and I love how you can just, you know, take the top off if you wanna just wear the bandeau by itself. But together I think it looks so cute. It kind of reminds me of like 90s, 90s chic, so. I absolutely love this. And then here is a skirt that I got also from Lulu's. And I think this is so vacation approved. I would totally wear this whole outfit actually. And this is a linen material. I'm really into linens um, for the warmer weather. And it has these button detailings here on the side. It's kind of pretty, kind of reminds me of like seashells. And I love this slit in the skirt. So yeah, it's like a pretty like linen or cream color. So, so, so cute. And then these are the mules. So pretty, they're really comfortable. I love it. I would totally, totally wear this on vacation. I got another skirt. This one is also a linen material. 
and it also has a slit on the side. This one has a zipper detailing rather than the buttons, but oh my gosh, how beautiful is this color? I am so into orange these days for the warmer weather. It's one of my favorite colors and I'm starting to buy a lot more clothes and accessories that are orange. But again, this is so vacation approved. Oh my God, it's just so tropical looking and I'm so obsessed with it. I mean, it also looks good with this set here and then the white mules, sandals. It fits really good. This is a size large. I forgot to mention the previous skirt I wore is also a large and I'm normally size eight in dresses and bottoms. Um, and then this is a size large. I think I pretty much got everything in large aside from a couple things. So I'll say the sizes for, for each thing as I try them on. I also got another set and I seriously love this one. It's giving me such 90s vibes with a pair of high-waisted jeans. I think it just looks so cute. It's this like cropped cardigan top and it comes with the matching knit ribbed crop tank top. So, so cute. And yeah, such 90s vibes with my little platform sandals. And I love the color of it. It's like this lilac light lavender color. So pretty for the springtime and it's so comfortable. And yeah, I got this in a size large. The next thing is this linen top and I can't express enough. I think I'm just obsessed with everything. So I'm sorry I keep saying obsessed so much, but I seriously love it. And I plan on using this as a swimsuit cover up in the summertime um, because it's like really long and it's nice and lightweight and it is, yeah, linen material again. It's a really pretty cream-ish color, kind of similar to the skirt. And this I read on the website ran large, so I got this in a size medium um, and I really like it. So I think it fits really nicely. I can even button it all up if I wanted to, but I think even open like this with like a crop top and jeans is such a cute look also. Such a nice casual look. So I also picked up a couple dresses because Lulu's has the best dresses, especially for springtime. They have all sorts of dresses. So I picked up this really, really gorgeous white one. It's so flirty and girly and so perfect for spring. I think I'm gonna wear this like when I do picnics or spring brunches when the weather heats up so it goes right above the knee and I got this in a size large. It fits perfectly. You can even do like an off the shoulder type of look um, with this, which actually, ooh, I really like how that looks. Okay, yeah, I think I'm loving the off the shoulder look way better, but it has a really pretty sweetheart neckline. It has like these strings here, you can adjust it so you can like make it straighter if you want or tie it to give it that sweetheart neckline. And yeah, it's just so cute. The last item that I have from Lulu's is another dress and I am very obsessed with this one. It's a midi length dress. So perfect for spring, it has florals on it. And I think the website said this was green. It looks kind of gray to me, but I think, I think it's green on the website. I got this in a size medium. So the review said that it runs a little bit large. I'm usually large in size eight in dresses, but I got a medium and it even still has a little bit more room, but I love it because I can just be like comfortable in it. I can move around in it. It is not tight at all. I can still breathe, but it still is like fitting. I might even pair this with a belt, um, but yeah, I absolutely love it. And it's just so comfortable. Yes, this is all that I got from Lulu's and everything will be linked in my description. Definitely go check it out. Okay, actually before I go, I'm gonna eat some lunch because I'm really hungry. I didn't realize until right before I walked out the door um, and I hate shopping on an empty stomach because then I end up going to like, uh, like drive through or like getting unnecessary food at like Starbucks or something. So I'm making my go-to salad at the moment. It's pretty simple, but I've been loving kale salads with some grilled chicken. So this is leftover chicken from the other night. And I started making my own dressing. I made this a few times before, but I honestly feel like this homemade dressing, I love so much better than like store-bought dressings because it has so much lemon in it and I'm obsessed with the taste of lemon. So um, first off, I drizzle a bunch of lemon and a little bit of salt and pepper on the kale and kind of like um, massage that in to kind of let it soak in. So I just take one half of the lemon and I squeeze that all over. And then I use the other half of the lemon for the homemade dressing and then a little bit of salt and pepper, and then I mix that in and I let it kind of like sit there while I make the dressing. Okay, does anyone watch I Love Lucy? If you guys watch my vlogs regularly, you know that's one of my favorite shows. I've been watching it in a while, but there's one episode where Lucy has a dressing um, recipe and then she and Ethel sell it. 
and they get into all sorts of trouble. But every time I think of homemade dressing, I think of that episode. It's one of my favorites. Okay, and for veggies, um, I kind of ran out of all of my veggies. I should probably buy some more today at the grocery store, but I'm gonna just do bell pepper and cucumber. Honestly, with the dressing, I could literally throw anything in it and it tastes so good. Add in the cucumbers, bell pepper. I feel like Salt Bay when he was like, salt oh i have dried chickpeas oh my god they're so good they are i forgot where i got them but it's this brand vienna and it's ranch flavored i might have gotten these at target so they have them at all places but i love throwing them on top of salads and also just snacking on them okay and then uh, top it off with the pre-sliced chicken here's the salad pre-dressing Oh, so I changed my camera settings and I don't know how to freaking work my vlog camera anymore, but yeah. Okay, here's a salad. So for the dressing, it's pretty simple. It is just, let me bring the camera down so you guys can see. And honestly, I measure like, I like wing it. I like don't like measure it out, but it's just like a little bit of Dijon mustard. And then I take half of lemon. I just love the lemony, like, mustardy Dijon taste. And then a tiny bit of honey, not too much. Little tiny drop of olive oil too. Okay, and then salt and pepper. And then we just mix it up. Sometimes I have to like adjust it as I'm mixing it. And like I do a little taste test before I pour it in. All right, and then I just drizzle it over. I usually just make enough for like one serving. Mix it all together and we got ourselves a little salad, just my version of a random salad. Mm. I just think I'm so obsessed with the taste of lemon now. Oh my God, you guys, it literally is snowing right now. I thought winter was over. Got my matcha, my regular order. Matcha, latte, grande, light ice, two pumps of chai, oat milk. Literally the best, my favorite. Okay, so I was gonna go to the grocery store and restock on things, but I think I'm just gonna go tomorrow because I went to the grocery store. I, I went there and there was no parking. <laughs> so it's crowded, it's Sunday. So I'm gonna just go tomorrow, like early morning, probably like eight or nine before I start to like um, work so I can um, just get it all out of the way. I'm just so over winter. I have some trips planned. Oh, I don't think I mentioned this to you guys yet, but Anto and I are taking a road trip in a couple weeks and we are going to the south. Um, well, the south, East to be more specific. We are doing a road trip to the Carolinas. We're gonna go to Charlotte and Charleston. I've been to Charlotte. I've never been to Charleston. I'm so excited. It's been on my bucket list for so, so long. I just think it's such a cute city and I heard the food was great and it's just so pretty. So I'm really excited to go. And then after that, we are gonna go to Savannah, Georgia. I've been to Georgia a couple times. I've never been to Savannah specifically. So I'm excited for that too, cause that's also been on my bucket list. Um, and then after Savannah, we're gonna just spend a couple days in Hilton Head, cause we wanna go to the beach. Hopefully the weather will be good. I mean, I think the weather in Georgia is a little bit warmer than it is in Maryland, um, but yeah, I hope it's not gonna be like raining and like too cold. I feel like 60s and 70s I'll be happy with. And we're doing this road trip because it's something fun that I'm working on, um, but I can't say yet. So I'll say it in that vlog because I am vlogging that whole trip. I'm just really excited. If you're from those areas, then let me know your recs for food, places to stay, places to go, activities, fun things to do and see. June, I'm going to Miami with the girls, our annual girls trip. Um, and then me and Anto are planning a vacation for July. I think are most likely trying to go to Turks and Caicos. I'm very excited because that's also been on my bucket list and I've already started looking at hotels, Airbnbs. We're gonna do that and then another place. I don't even think, I don't know if this is gonna happen, but 
I want to speak it into existence so maybe it'll happen I really want to go to Switzerland um, it's like number one on my bucket list right now uh, well with Italy too I want to go to Italy in Switzerland I've been looking at hotels too and I've been looking at like videos like it's just so beautiful like I want to go to one place that's beachy and tropical Turks and Caicos and then I want to go to some place that's just like gorgeous like I want gorgeous landscapes and and just beautiful like scenery and that's what Switzerland is so I just want to go so many places and I'm tired of being in America it's not fun here okay successful trip to the pharmacy I went to CVS and picked up a bunch of stuff so I got a couple of things for my teeth I got some mouthwash I got the crest 3d white glamorous glamorous white I got this because it was on sale it was like $4.99 and this helps to protect against stains and it helps to whiten teeth and also kills bad breath so I got that and then I also got um, the crest 3d white brilliance toothpaste I ran out of toothpaste so I needed um, some more this is my favorite kind and this is on sale well I had a coupon I had three dollars off this is why I love coming to CVS because I have so many coupons so I had three dollars off fifteen dollars or more worth of toothpaste this was 15 so I got that for sale and I also had to pick up a new tub of aquaphor I literally cannot survive without aquaphor I use it for so many things I use it for my hands my dry dry hands and dry skin and then I also use it for like uh, my lips as like chapstick honestly because it's so good I've been using this stuff since I was like nine years old okay and then I also got some um, stay gel I've used this stuff before this is for like edge control and I have like tons of baby hairs as you guys probably like have seen in my videos but like every time I do my hair and like my slick back sleek um, buns I like to make sure my edges my baby hairs stay down and I use a toothbrush and this stuff and it's really great and then I also got some makeup wipes which is the main reason I needed to come here and I got the CeraVe ones which I've never tried before but um, they are hydrating and plant-based. It helps to remove makeup. And I mean, CeraVe is an amazing skincare brand, so I'm sure um, it'll make my skin um, nice and smooth. I really wanted something that would keep my skin hydrated and not completely like damage it and ruin it while I wipe my makeup off. And then I picked up a makeup item. I got this blush from Drew Barrymore's makeup line. I don't know what her makeup line is called. I think it's called Flower. But yeah, I had no idea Drew Barrymore had a makeup line. And yeah, she sells them at pharmacies and she also sells it at um, Ulta too. But I think it's only available online. So I got this flower pot in the peach primrose color. I really wanted like a peachy, corally color for the springtime. And I decided to try her brand out. And I looked at reviews online while I was in store and people were saying good things and it's rated pretty high. So um, yeah, we'll try that out. And I also got some nail polishes. Got this really pretty pink one and I love Sally Hansen. Um, nail polishes those are like my go-to brand that and like OPI so I got this like really pretty color this one is in pink blush and then this one is a really pretty like kind of nude pinkish color it's called petal pusher and I think I want to do my nails today as you can tell they are not done I haven't gotten them done in so long I do have an appointment scheduled in a couple weeks for before we go on our road trip but I just want to do them myself at home on my natural nails so I'm gonna do my nails actually when I get home today and the last couple things I got are from the Hollywood Fashion Secrets line. I've been using this stuff for years again. So I got the fashion tape. I just repurchased this because I um, I can't find my other one. But these are like little tape strips you can put on your um, shirts so that it will stick to you and like won't open up. So it's great for like deep v-neck shirts. So I got this in lieu of springtime. I'm going to start wearing more like open tops and like deep v-neck shirts. So I got that. Keep all that secure. And then I got these silicone cover-ups. So, um, yeah, I'm going to start, you know, wearing tops and, and dresses that where I can't wear a bra. So I want to just get this to like have as like a cover up. So that's all I got. So I'm going to go home now. It's really snowing. Like, I don't know what, like why this is happening. This is so annoying. So I'm just going to go home now and, um, probably do my nails. Oh, I need to clean the bathroom. I'll probably clean the ba bathroom before I do my nails.
I made a really simple dinner with a bunch of leftovers that I had. I made salmon the other night, so I am just eating that with a side of asparagus. I also cooked the other night, and then I made a salad with just pretty much anything that was in the fridge. It's kale and cucumber, onion, lemon juice, salt, pepper, and then I just used some light Caesar because I didn't feel like making my own dressing this time. And then I have a side of a spicy mayo that I made myself um, for the salmon. So that's dinner tonight. Trying to eat up all my food before I go grocery shopping tomorrow. The bathrooms are all clean. I also soaked um, all of the canisters in vinegar and baking soda to get rid of all the gunk at the bottom. So that's clean. And yeah, I have the laundry going, washing all my towels. I finally cleaned the bath. So now I can finally take like Nice relaxing baths in a nice clean tub. And I cleaned the other bathroom too. I just didn't show it because I was tired. I just wanted to get it over with so I was like rushing through uh, cleaning it. Did you guys know the Oscars are on tonight? I totally had no idea they were on. Yeah, I love the Oscars. I watch it every year and I love movies. So I'm excited to watch it tonight. I'm watching the red carpet. Everyone's arriving. Oh my God, Zendaya, I love her! Look at Zendaya, girl. Yes, ma'am. I am obsessed with award shows. I watch all of them. The Grammys, the Oscars, um, Glo Golden Globes. Um, not really so much the other ones. I think those are the main three that I love. But yes, award season is my favorite. I mainly just like watching the red carpet just to see what everyone's wearing. So, okay, I'm gonna do my nails really quick. I'm gonna just file them down and paint them. We are gonna do an at-home manicure for the first time in like, oh my God, probably a couple years, so bad, but. I need to start doing my nails at home more and saving money and just letting my nails breathe. nails are done. It's coming up kind of like orange or peachy on camera. Maybe I have to show it in the daylight because um, it's kind of dark now, but it's more like pinkish, like a white pink. Um, yeah. I love the color and I like how quick drying it was because it was the Sally Hansen like instant dry um, brand. And yeah, I miss my natural nails. They're so cute. So nice and short. I popped some popcorn and watching the Oscars. I like it so far. I like the three hosts, the three women. Oh my God, I'm so happy. The actress from West Side Story, Ariana, I forgot her last name, but she won Best Supporting Actress and I love West Side Story. She was so great in that. So I'm happy with the winners so far. So I'm gonna end this vlog here. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Thank you so much for watching. And don't forget to check out Lulu's and all of the clothes that I tried on. Go check it out, it will be in my description. And I will see you guys in my next video.